Hey guys, it's Alexis aka The Soft Breeder and I'm here today to do a long awaited video and that is my bookshelf tour. That's right, I'm gonna do a bookshelf tour. I have four shelves that are just purely books and then I have a fifth shelf that is like my miscellaneous stuff so it's where I keep like my manga and my coffee table books, that kind of thing. Um, so yes, yeah, so we have five bookshelves to get through so we're not going to waste any time, we're just going to go ahead and get right on into it. So starting out with my uh, other random bookshelf, this is the bookshelf I kind of consider my like miscellaneous bookshelf. So starting out on this shelf we have these picture uh, of my grandparents. Um, I've talked about my grandpa and my grandparents a little bit before my channel, but I'm very close to both of them, uh, even though my grandpa has since passed away. Um, and I also have this Matryoshka doll that I got at an international food festival when I was like 13, so yes. Also on this uh, shelf we have my Decemberist 5 uh, LP set, so this was the 10th anniversary edition of their album The Crane Wife, um, which they released last year, which I had to get. Um, and then on this side, this is my Hotel California record that I got uh, at a super, super really good price when I went to Kentucky. Um, on this shelf I also have Harry Potter y la Piedra Filosofal. This is the Spanish edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, uh, obviously the illustrated edition that my grandma got me two Christmases ago. I also have Hamilton the Revolution on this shelf, which my parents bought me last year because they know I'm a huge fan of Hamilton. I also have this book called Myths and Legends from Cherokee Dances to Voodoo Trances. Uh, by John Pemberton, and this is like an encyclopedia of myth and legends from around the world. Um, and you guys know I'm a huge fan of mythology, so I had to have that. And lastly on this shelf is this signed cookbook by Anthony Bourdain. I am a huge Anthony Bourdain fan, so when I saw this uh, signed at Barnes & Noble's, I had to have it, even though I don't cook at all. Look at him. I love him so much. This next shelf, as you can see, is where I keep all of my candles. Um, these are... Bath and Body Works candles, all of these ones are, because I have a serious, serious problem. Sorry about the glare. So this is my shelf where I keep all of my manga. Um, over on this end I have my collection of D. Grayman. That is my favorite manga series and I'm slowly working my way through collecting all of the volumes. Um, next to it I have the first four volumes in the Tokyo Ghoul series. I would like to own every volume in the original series because I do really love it and I'm a huge fan of the mangaka's art style. On this side I have the first ten volumes of a manga called Dazzle by Minari Endo, which is another one of my favorite series, and above that are the four volumes in a manga called And Freaks. This was actually the first manga series I ever read, so it's like super sentimental to me. These three are all ones that were given to me as gifts, so I have them sitting here. And finally, I have the 14, first 14 volumes in Holic, which is my favorite Clamp series, and Clamp is one of my favorite mangaka groups. So, of course, uh, I own, I'm trying to collect all of the issues in this series as well. Um, and on this shelf is where I have all of my graphic novels, some magazines I collect, and some of the um, language books I've used, and I also have a vast collection of my DVDs. Um, so I have my entire collection of Criminal Minds DVDs and some of the other DVDs I very, very much enjoy. So this is the actual first shelf on my bookshelves. Um, so as you can see, this is actually where I do all of my recording. Um, so I've got my Overwatch Funkos and then my Geralt Funko from The Witcher. Yeah, so I will just take all the Funkos down and we'll go ahead and get straight to it. I do also have this Pemberley candle that I got from From the Page, um, which corresponds with one of the books on the shelf. That's why it is on the shelf. All right, so the first book we have on this shelf is Enclave by Anne... Aguirre? Aguirre? I'm not sure. Next we have The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier. Flawed by Cecilia Ahern. The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli. The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexi. Inferno by Dante Alighieri. House of the Spirits by Isabella Allende. 
Fever 1793 by Lori Hals Anderson. Both Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl, as well as The Haters, both by Jesse Andrews. Trial by Fire and Firewalker, both by Josephine Angelini. Mosquito Land by David Arnold. 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Shattered Mirror, Demon in My View, and In the Waters of the Night, all by Amelia Atwater Rhodes. The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Red Queen. Glass Sword, and King's Cage, all by Victoria Aveyard. Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Babbitt. A Drop of Night by Stefan Bachman. Shadow and Bone, and Siege and Storm, both by Lee Bardugo. So this is my second shelf on my regular bookshelf, so I'll go ahead and show you guys everything once I take all my Funkos down. On the shelf, I also have this wicked cool lighter I found. Starting off on this shelf, we have Ruin and Rising, Six of Crows, and Crooked Kingdom, all by Lee Bardugo. The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett. Tight, Valiant, and Ironside, all by Holly Black. The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. White Cat, also by Holly Black. And The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. I have Knots and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake, Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendar Blake, Anti-Goddess, and Mortal Gods, both by Kendar Blake, The Raft by S.A. Bodine, Five to One by Holly Bodger, Girl on a Wire by Gwenda Bond, Taken, Vengeance Road, and Retribution Rails, all by Aaron Bowman, A History of Loneliness by John Boyne, Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury, and my Japanese film comic edition of Princess Mononoke. This shelf mostly has books, except it also has a teacup uh, that I bought when I was in North Carolina, which I will show you guys real quick. So on this shelf, we have The Diviners by Libba Bray. We have The Slayer Chronicles First Kill by Zach Brewer. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. The Aftermath by Ridian Brooke. The Hate List by Jennifer Brown. The 57 Lives of Alex Wayfair by M.G. Burland. The first book in the Mediator series, Shadowland. Book two, Ninth Key. Book three, Reunion. Book four, Darkest Hour. Book 5, Haunted, the original 6th book, Twilight, and finally the 7th installment, Remembrance. Next we have the 5 books in the Land of Elion series by Patrick Carmen, The Dark Hills Divide, Between the Valley of Thorns, The Tenth City, Into the Mist, and Stargazer. And this was my favorite series as a kid. This is the series that got me into reading, so I absolutely adore them. Rook by Sharon Cameron, In Cold Blood by Truman Capote, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, Graceling by Kristen Kishore, The Selection, The Elite, and The One, all in the original Selection trilogy by Kira Cass. The remaining two books on this shelf are The Air by Kira Cass and Happily Ever After, which is a companion to the original Selection series. This is the second to last shelf on my first bookshelf. Um, I can't really keep too many decorative things on these bottom shelves because my cats will knock them away. I do have this candle from From the Page, which is Penis Cakes, which I keep next to my Hunger Games trilogy. And I also have this wicked letter opener I got from my uncle. The first book I have on this shelf is The Siren by Kira Cass, A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro, The Devil's Kiss and Dark Goddess, both by Sarwat Shada, Dueled by Elsie Chapman, The Massive Alexander Hamilton Biography by Ron Chernow, The Demon King by Cinda Williams Chima, when a Jean Makes You Smell Like Fish and Other Tales About the Genes in Your Body by Lisa Seacrest Chu. If I Fall, If I Die by Michael Christie. And then next we have my Agatha Christie collection, so just know that these next books are all by Agatha Christie. The Mysterious Affair at Styles, The Body in the Library, Evil Under the Sun, A Murder is Announced, The Murder of Roger Ackroyd, Murder at the Vicarage, Murder on the Orient Express, and the ABC Murders, and these are all the ones that I have in this particular Agatha Christie collection. However, I do also have, and then there were none, Double Sin, and The Mysterious Mr. Quinn, World of Ink and Shadow by Lena Coakley, Gingerbread, and Cupcake, both by Rachel Cohn, Poison Princess by Kersley Cole, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay, all by Suzanne Collins, Leviathan Wakes by James S.A. Corey, and lastly on this shelf, Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. So this is the last shelf on my first bookshelf. 
Um, so the only decorations I have down here are two candles, both by From the Page. The first is this maze candle from the Maze Runner, and one that says Gatsby Shoreline from The Great Gatsby. A hint at what you'll find on this bookshelf. The first book is How to Love by Katie Katugno. Breathe by Sarah Crossan. Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. Girl Parts by John M. Cusick, which is a book I borrowed from my friend years ago and never returned. The Miseducation of Cameron Post by Emily M. Danforth. The Fever Code by James Dashner. Truth Witch by Susan Denner. The High King's Golden Tongue by Megan Durr. Perfect Ruin by Lauren DeStefano. The Love Interest by Kale Dietrich. The Search for Wanla by Tony Ditterlitzi. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. Room by Emma Donahue. Revolution by Jennifer Donnelly. Fell of Dark by Patrick Downs. Mila 2.0 by Deborah Driza. What Remains by Helene Dunbar. The Revelation of Gabriel Adam by S.L. Duncan. In the Coils of the Snake by Claire B. Dunkel. Perfect Chemistry by Simone Elkeles. Cold Magic by Kate Elliott. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. A Kiss in Time and Beastly, both by Alex Flynn. Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. The Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. And my favorite play, Master Harold and the Boys by Othel Fugard. So this is the top shelf on my second bookshelf, um, which starts with author's last names beginning with G. Um, as you can see, the decoration I have on this shelf is my Hufflepuff scarf and these um, decorative perfume bottles, which I've been collecting since I was a little girl. So I'll go ahead and move those out of the way and we can get started. The first book on this shelf is This Edition of American Gods by Neil Gaiman. Next we have Symptoms of Being Human by Jeff Garvin. Front Lines by Michael Grant. Wolf by Wolf and The Walled City, both by Ryan Groudon. A Thousand Pieces of You and 10,000 Skies Above You, both by Claudia Gray. None of the Above by I.W. Gregorio. The Other Boleyn Girl by Philippa Gregory. Mask of the Red Death by Bethany Griffin. Half Bad and Half Wild, both by Sally Green. The Princess Bride by William Goldman. Becoming Jin by Laurie Goldstein. Aeon by Alison Goodman. And lastly on this shelf, Home Going by Yaa Jossi. This is the second shelf on my second bookshelf. As you can see, I have a couple more Funko Pops, and I also have the 20th Hufflepuff edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Um, I keep it on this shelf instead of the rest of my Harry Potter uh, spaces because I want it in the background of my videos when I film. The first thing we have on this shelf is Mr. Death's Blue-Eyed Girls by Mary Downing Hahn, The Princess Academy by Shannon Hale, Mythology by Edith Hamilton, Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton, To All the Boys I've Loved Before, P.S. I Still Love You, and Always and Forever Laura Jean, all by Ginny Han, Burn for Burn by Ginny Han and Siobhan Vivian, My Lady Jane by Cynthia Han, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows, Why We Broke Up, a novel by Daniel Handler with art by Myra Coleman, 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan Harstad, into the Water by Paula Hawkins. The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Magonia by Maria Devana Headley. Emperor of the Eight Islands by Leanne Hearn. The Girl from Everywhere by Heidi Heilig. When the Sea is Rising Red by Kat Hellison. The Old Man and the Sea and A Farewell to Arms, both by Ernest Hemingway. Siddhartha by Herman Hesse. The Outsiders by Essie Hinton. Frost Fire by Amanda Hawking. And the final two books on this shelf are Incantation and The Museum of Extraordinary Things, both by Alice Hoffman. So this is the third shelf on my second bookshelf. Here I have a A made out of like a map. I have my Alien Funko and then I have a postcard I got when I went to Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. It's actually a picture of the Wright brothers uh, putting their first plane in flight. The first book on the shelf is The Dove Keepers by Alice Hoffman. The Kite Runner by Khaled Hosseini. Nightspeed by Chris Howard. The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo. Violent Ends, which is a book written by 17 different authors, um, but I believe Sean David Hutchinson is the one who actually curated the whole thing. We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. Never Let Me Go, as well as When We Were Orphans, both by Kazuo Ishiguro. 
The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson, A Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnston, Reign of Shadows, as well as The Uninvited, both by Sophie Jordan, The Iron King, The Iron Daughter, The Iron Queen, and The Iron Knight, all by Julie Kagawa, The Broken Hearted by Amelia Kahani, Illuminae, and Gemina, both by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And finally on this shelf we have Burial Rites by Hannah Kent. The first book on this shelf is You by Caroline Kepnes, Ask the Passengers, and The Dust of a Hundred Dogs, both by A.S. King, The Gunslinger, and The Shining, both by Stephen King, The Dinner by Herman Cook, Never Night by Jay Kristoff, Blue Plate Special by Michelle D. Kwasny, The Disenchantments, and Everything Leads to You, both by Nina LaCour, Starflight by Melissa Landers, the 16th of June by Maya Long, Rebel Bully Geek Pariah by Aaron Jade Lange, The Devil in the White City by Eric Larson, Red Sister by Mark Lawrence, Every Day by David Levithan, The Giver and Gossamer, both by Lois Lowry, and The Young Elites by Marie Lu. We're starting with the M's now, and we're starting with A Court of Thorns and Roses and A Court of Mist and Fury, both by Sarah J. Mass. And lastly on the shelf, we have the Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. This is the final shelf on my second bookshelf, and so we'll go ahead and get into it. I have this candle from From the Page. Oh, there's my cat. No, Hildy. You know what? I'm gonna leave that in. I have this candle from From the Page, which is just fairy dust. I have this coaster I got in an owl crepe box, which is a quote from Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi, which is, I spent my life folded between the pages of books. And I have this candle from the Melting Library, which is Fireheart, so it corresponds with the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. The first book I have on this shelf is My Japanese Edition of Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass, Air of Fire by Sarah J. Mass, Queen of Shadows by Sarah J. Mass, and Empire of Storms. David Hilde, go away! And Empire of Storms by Sarah J. Mass. Every Heart a Doorway and Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Sean and McGuire. Shatter Me, Ignite Me, and Unravel Me all by Tahara Mafi. The Lost Girl by Sangu Mandana. Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. Finnegan of the Rock by Melina Marchetta. A Hundred Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Rags and Bones, New Twists on Timeless Tales, edited by Melissa Marr and Tim Pratt. My Japanese edition of Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Actual Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, and Storm of Swords, all by George R. R. Martin. And lastly on this shelf we have Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. This is the top shelf on my third bookshelf. I've got my graduation stole and then my high school stole on both sides and as you can see this is where I keep all of my Disney Disney affiliated um, Funkos and the little stitch zoom zoom and stuff so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and take those down and we'll get into the books we start out this shelf with Lightbringer by K.D. McIntyre A Madness So Discreet The Female of the Species and Not a Drop to Drink all by Mindy McGinnis Wake Fade Gone and Visions, all by Lisa McMahon. These next set of books are all by Rochelle Mead, so I'm not gonna bother saying that after everyone, just know that the next several are by Rochelle Mead. Game Board of the Gods, The Glittering Court, Stormborn, Thorn Queen, Iron Crowned, Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise, Spirit Bound, and Last Sacrifice, and those are the original six books in the Vampire Academy series. Bloodlines and Soundless. Next I have Wildwood, written by Colin Malloy and illustrated by Carson Ellis. And lastly on the shelf I have Stars Above, a Lunar Chronicles collection by Marissa Meyer. Next is the second shelf on my third bookshelf where I have two more of the perfume bottles that I collect, a picture of me and my grandmother at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Several more bookish candles. So we have Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, and Winter. And these are all from Novel Yours. The first book on the shelf is Fairest by Marissa Meyer. And I also have Wires and Nerve and Heartless, both by Marissa Meyer. Cut Both Ways by Carrie Mesrovian. The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. A Reunion of Ghost by Judith Claire Mitchell. Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. 
Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery, Rebel Queen by Michelle Moran, Hero by Perry Moore, The Husband's Secret, and Big Little Lies, both by Leanne Moriarty, Beloved by Toni Morrison, Eileen by Otessa Moshva, Gone, Gone, Gone by Hannah Moskowitz, Win and Pinball by Haruki Murakami, which is actually a collection of his first two novels, Ramona Blue, and Dumplin', both by Julie Murphy, The Woman with the Worm in Her Head, and Other True Stories of Infectious Diseases by Pamela Nagami, by Dr. Pamela Nagami, The Word for Yes by Claire Needell, I'll Give You the Sun, and The Sky is Everywhere, both by Jandy Nelson, Fire Spell, and Hexbound, both by Chloe Neal. Release by Patrick Ness, and More Than This, also by Patrick Ness. This is the third shelf on my third bookshelf. Um, as you can see, I have a couple of figurines I've had from since I, when I was a kid. I have my Toothless Funko Pop, I have a little 1984 journal, and I have this mug that is really pretty, and I always keep it by Uprooted by Naomi Novak because the colors match. The first two books on this shelf are A Monster Call and The Rest of Us Just Live Here, both by Patrick Ness, Deception by Lee Nichols, This Is Where It Ends by Marie K. Nijkamp, Abhorson by Garth Nix, Uprooted by Naomi Novik, The Sacred Lies of Minnow Bly by Stephanie Oak, Queen of Hearts by Colleen Oakes, The Vault of Dreamers by Kara M. O'Brien. Next are the Lauren Oliver books I own, Before I Fall, Panic, Room, and Replica, all by Lauren Oliver, as well as Delirium, Pandemonium, Requiem, and The Delirium Stories. What is Not Yours is Not Yours by Helen Oyeyemi, The Three Books in the Captive Prince Trilogy by C.S. Paquette, Captive Prince, Prince's Gambit, and King's Rising, again, all by C.S. Paquette, Aragon by Christopher Paolini, In Order to Live, A North Korean Girl's Journey to Freedom by Yeonmi Park with Mary Ann Vollers, Flat Out Celeste by Jessica Park, and lastly on this shelf, The Kiss of Deception, and The Heart of Betrayal, both by Mary E. Pearson. This is the fourth shelf on my third bookshelf with actual books. Um, I usually try not to have books just like haphazardly thrown on my shelves, but uh, ordering books online in June did not go how I expected it to, so we're just gonna have to deal with it for now, but I'll go ahead and get into the books that are on this shelf. First, we have Night Film by Marisha Pessel, Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and Isla and the Happily Ever After, all by Stephanie Perkins. My True Love Gave to Me, and Summer Days and Summer Nights, which are both a collection of 12 stories, both edited by Stephanie Perkins. Between the Lines by Jody Pico and Samantha Van Leer. Alana the First Adventurer by Tamora Pierce. The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. The Mystery of Hollow Places by Rebecca Potos. This stunning penguin horror collection of the works of Edgar Allan Poe. Yes Please by Amy Poehler. Want by Cindy Pond. The Golden Compass, The Subtle Knife, and The Amber Spyglass, all by Philip Pullman, which are the three books in the His Dark Material series. Next, I have a dusk jacket list edition of Forgive Me Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick. Noteworthy. Noteworthy and The Seven Ways We Lie, both by Riley Redgate. Clean by Amy Reed. The Shadow Queen by C.J. Redwine. Across the Universe by Beth Revis. The Titan's Curse. The Battle of the Labyrinth. And The Last Olympian, all by Rick Riordan. These are the three later books in the Percy Jackson series. And finally on this shelf we have The Lost Hero, Son of Neptune, and The Mark of Athena, also by Rick Riordan. And these are the first three books in the Heroes of Olympus series. This is the final shelf on this bookshelf, which as you can see is where I have all of my Harry Potter stuff. So I have my three Harry Potter Funkos. I have this loyal candle from Novel Yours, which is just a scent for House Hufflepuff. And I also have the Luna Love Good Wand, which I bought when I was in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Orlando last year. Firstly on this shelf we have The House of Hades and The Blood of Olympus, which are the last two books in the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. Next I have the first book in the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard series by Rick Riordan, which is The Sword of Summer. Continuing on, I have How I Live Now by Meg Rossoff. This is obviously the movie tie-in edition. Riders by Veronica Rossi. The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Fangirl, as well as Carry On, both by Rainbow Roll. 
I have my Japanese edition of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Next, I have the box set of the seven Harry Potter books, which I got for my parents for Christmas two years ago. Um, so I'll go ahead and pull these out to show you guys. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, which is obviously the last book in the series. Continuing on on my shelf, I have If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Rousseau, The Winner's Curse, and The Winner's Crime, both my Marie Rukowski, and finally on this shelf I have The Forest of Hands and Teeth, The Dead Tossed Waves, and The Dark and Hollow Places, all by Carrie Ryan. This is the final bookshelf, um, and so this is the first shelf on this bookshelf. As you can see, I have a couple more Funkos. I have this dish I bought at a street festival, which I just thought was really pretty. And I have this darker shade of magic candle that I bought from the Melting Library, and it's called Red London. Firstly, on this shelf, I have The Inexplicable Logic of My Life, as well as Aristotle and Dante Discover of the Secrets of the Universe, which are both by Benjamin Aleri Sands. The Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury. Miss Bourne, The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension, and Hero of Ages, all by Brandon Sanderson. Fans of The Impossible Life by Kate Skelsa. And now for all of my Victoria Schwab books. The Archived and The Unbound, This Savage Song, and Our Dark Duet, which are both of the books in the Monsters of Verity duology. Vicious, A Darker Shade of Magic, A Gathering of Shadows, and finally, A Conjuring of Light, again, all by V.E. Schwab. Next up we have The Lovely Bones by Alice Sebold, and this particular edition was actually gifted to me by the mother of the family I stayed with when I was in Australia, so it's a very special copy to me. Salt to the Sea, Between Shades of Grey, and Out of the Easy, all by Ruta Sepetis. The Thirteenth Tale by Diane Setterfeld. Balzac and the Little Chinese Seamstress by Dai Sojie. And lastly on the shelf, More Happy Than Not, as well as History Is All You Left Me, both by Adam Silvera. This is the second bookshelf on my final bookshelf, and here we just have a decorative candle that just has a cursive A on it. These cute little beakers um, that I got from my great aunt. On the shelf, I also have my Raven Cycle mug, which you can't really see, unfortunately, because of the light. Uh, but yeah, a hint for what's on this shelf. Starting off on this shelf, we have Hamlet, Othello, and Macbeth, all by William Shakespeare. A dusk jacket list copy of The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. Tweak by Nick Sheff. Human Trafficking, A Global Perspective by Louise Shelley. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Scythe by Neil Schusterman. The Glass Arrow by Kristen Simmons. Winger and Grasshopper Jungle, both by Andrew Smith. The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. Milkweed by Jerry Spinelli. A Tyranny of Petticoats, which is a f collection of short stories edited by Jessica Spotswood. Faking Normal by Courtney C. Stevens. All the Rage. And This Is Not a Test, both by Courtney Summers. Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma. The Emperor's Blades by Brian Stavely. Strange Angels, Betrayal, Jealousy, and Defiance, which are the first four books in the Strange Angel series by Lily St. Crow. Lastly, on the shelf we have... The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. This is my second to last shelf, and on this shelf I have this goblet that you can't really see that is um, from The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, and it actually lights up, but the batteries in it are dead. Um, and this was a gift to me Christmases ago by my great aunt. This candle from Novel Yours, which is the Gansey candle. Uh, so yeah, that tells you what's the rest of the first books on this shelf. The first three books on the shelves are The Dream Thieves, Blue Lily Lily Blue, and The Raven King, all by Maggie Steve Otter. The Way We Bared Our Souls by Willa Strayhorn, Ink by Amanda Sun. I apologize for the abrupt camera change. I am doing the best I can. I've never done this before, so cut me a little bit of slack. Next on the shelf we have An Ember in the Ashes and A Torch Against the Night, both by Saba Tahir. Into the Dim by Janet B. Taylor. The Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. The Shore by Sarah Taylor. Because You'll Never Meet Me by Leah Thomas. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Love Me Back by Merritt Tierce. Ruined by Amy Tintera. The Hobbit, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, 
and The Return of the King, all by J.R.R. Tolkien. The Thief by Megan Whalen Turner. The Stars Never Rise by Rachel Vincent. My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Warga. Shallow Graves by Callie Wallace. And finally, The Strange and Beautiful Zorros of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. All right, guys, so we're in the final stretch. This is my last shelf. Uh, I don't really have anything decorative down here because if I did, my cats would knock it down. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right on into it. Lark Rising by Sandra Wow. The Way of Shadows, Shadow's Edge, and Beyond the Shadows, which are the three books in the Night Angel trilogy by Brent Weeks. Suicide Notes from Beautiful Girls by Lynn Weingarten. The Martian by Andy Weir. The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. The Uglies by Scott Westerfeld. Every Mountain Made Low by Alex White. And I Darken by Kirsten White. A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. The Fifth Wave and The Infinite Sea, both by Rick Yancey. Everything Everything and The Sun is Also a Star, both by Nicola Yoon. The Serpent King by Jeff Sittner. And finally, The Book Thief and The Book Thief, both by Marcus Susak. All right, guys, so that was my 2017 bookshelf tour. I have acquired a lot of books since I started booktube. Um, most of these I probably bought within the last, like, two years, which is an unhealthy amount of books to buy in a short amount of time. I'm really eager to read all of the books I haven't read on my shelves yet, and a lot of these books that I have read I have a lot of love for. So, yes, that was my bookshelf tour. If you enjoyed it, please let me know. Please, if you want to recommend a book to me that you saw on my shelves, that you think I might not have read yet, I'd love for you to do so, and I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye!